Greetings from the Derbyshire Dales. Welcome to uh, another edition. It's an Apex Wednesday kind of day. Today I've got the Apex. I've put a new coil on it. We've got the uh, the Garrett Raider coil, and I've also upgraded the firmware. So uh, yeah, let's see see how this machine put, um, performs on the uh, horse and cart track fields. So yeah, let's go. I'm using the machine on uh, coins setting and I've got it in multi-frequency today uh, sensitivity one bar from the top and this is my first signal 79 that sounds good feels good let's have a look for uh, mid-june it's actually quite cold today uh, but it's dry ideal really I've opened it up and it's in there still so let's get the pinpointer in and have a look. In fact, I think it's going to rain. Oh, there we go. I can see something round. Oh, look at that. We've got an old George II there. Don't find many of those on here. That's for sure. Normally find the George V pennies on here, but yeah, it's an old one, that. That's a cool start. That's literally the first hole I've dug. This is my next target, under this tree. Just there. 81. That's a nice sounding target. Let's have a look. Well, I've opened it up and I've narrowed it down. To there. No idea what this is. Just put my hand on a spiky. Oh, there we go. Something spiky. What have we got there? Well, that looks interesting, because that looks old as well. It looks to be in reasonable condition, on that side anyway. I wonder, is that an early Queen Victoria copper? I'll give this a little clean up and I'll come back to you. Well, I can't get a portrait off that side, but this side looks really good. And I'm sure I can see a date down there. It says 1821, which in my book would make that George the Third. Can I see someone facing to the left? Could be William the Fourth. I think that's William the Fourth. I'm in a pickle about that. Yeah, cool. Another old coin. Good start. I didn't film the signal on this one because I felt it was too big. Even now, I'm still picking up from right up here. But I've opened it up, and there's a coin in there. So I've got a funny feeling there may be more than one. In fact, I think I can see at least two. We've got a big penny there, and a crusty threepenny bit there. So I've got a bit of an imprint there, look. So yeah, let's get the pinpointer and see what else there is. Anything else in the hole? Nothing else in the hole, but yeah, let's get this big penny. One big penny. George V, me boy. And then we've got a crusty threatening bit here, I reckon. Yep. Any more? No more. Oh. There's more. Oh, there we go. A flipping or another threat me bit. So we've got two crusty threat me bits, my favourite, and one big penny. That's seven pence for somebody back in the day. That'll have been lost in around 1950s, I bet. But cool, three coins in it, three press three decimal coins on a field I've done to death. Well, this is my next target. Under this bush. Just there. Solid 77, 78. Is it a bit big? Don't know, let's have a look. Let's do a live dig. Let's have a goose, see what we've got. Oh, the ground's hard. Very dry at the minute. Got 
got a bit of miscoloration of the soil here and here which tells me there's a coin or something do I need the speed again big chunk of lead I've just been following this fence all the way down here in the hope that I've never actually been here before and I don't think I have because I've got another signal here which sounds very coiny just there 76, 77 let's have a goose well I've opened it up and look at that you can quite clearly see we've got a coin in there Big penny, don't think there's anything else. Well, let's ID it. I can already see the date, it looks like 1907, so that's going to be Edward, Mr. Baldy. Do find a few of those on here. Or is it? Yeah, Mr. Baldy facing to the right, look, you just see him. Cool, another pre decimal. So I followed the path, well not the path, I followed the fence all the way down here and have a look at this, what's going on here then? I've got backpacks, I've got sleeping bags, I've got clothes, I've got camping stuff, I've got a bloody pillow, sunglasses, a tent, it looks like someone's been living here, old trainer look. Well there is actually a wallet in this bag unbelievably. What a surprise, it's empty. There's absolutely nothing in that. No cards, no coins, no notes. This is looking like another coin for the Apex. Signal was 66. I open it up. Look at that dark grey soil in there. You just know there's been a coin there. We've got a load of ants as well, but I reckon that's a half penny with a signal like that. I'd expect it to be Queen Victoria. Very, very smooth. Could be Edward. I can't tell to be honest with you. But it's another half penny pre decimal coin. Cool. Well, I had another signal right next to the half penny. Um, and look at this. We've got a little watch winder. I reckon that's probably Victorian. But yeah, that's cute. Got a funny little obsession with watch winders. I will show you the rest one day. But yeah, I'll take that. Well, this is my next find. I didn't record the signal. It was low 50s, so I thought it was going to be junk. And uh, to me, that looks like a squashed military button. I don't know which one. I can see it says London on it. Um, so yeah. Cool, something different. Well, it started raining. I've got another signal just here. Where are we? This one's a bit all over the shop. Low 60s, mid 60s, high 60s. So let's have a look. Well, I opened it up and look at that. I've got dark soil in there, a gap where there was probably a coin ball. But because the ground is so dry, we don't get any coin balls or imprints. But what we do have, well, I don't know what that is. It's got two holes in it, look. I'll give that a clean up and come back to you, but I'm pretty certain that's an old coin. The weather is pretty grim now. This is my next target. Low numbers, didn't record it. Owned her up and was greeted by that.
And if I'm not mistaken, there's another button. And this one seems to have a man fishing or something. Can anyone else see a man with a fishing rod? Or is it my imagination? Completely knackered. But yeah. Seventy nine. That sounds good, feels good. Let's have a look. Let's have a goose, see what we've got. Oh the ground's hard. Very dry at the minute. Well it's in the clod or the bale, whatever you want to call it. See what we've got. We've got grey soil. What is it? Oh, oh my lord, it's a modern one pence. Would you absolutely Adam and Eve it? Just look at this rugged terrain. This is my next one. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a medieval ring pull. Anybody got any ideas whatsoever this is drop me a comment and let me know because i'm stumped looks looks like he's got some age to it um but then again it could be modern trash i just really don't know <laughs> well i've walked all the way along this wall line not really found a great deal until now look at that gray soil in there whatever it is it's still in the hole let's see what we've got it was coming in high 70s. Gonna be a big penny, surely. Oh, there we go. We have yet another big penny. Who's on it? It's Edward the Seventh again, Mr. Baldy. Can you see him facing the right? So we're looking at very, very early 1900s there. Probably 1902, something like that. Cool, it's another pre -desk. Here comes the rain again. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I've been on this permission perhaps 40 to 50 times. This is an old footpath. And I've walked along this so many times and detected it and picked up so many coins. And look at this, right on the path. Where is it? Just there. It's got to be diggable signal, on it? I'd be very surprised if that's a coin. Well, I've narrowed it down. It's in this clod somewhere. Possibly a bit shallower than I thought. Where the bloody hell's that? There we go. In this bit. It's in my hand and it's junk little metal ring though look at that yeah had to be dug i don't know if you remember but not too long ago i picked up a big old penny on the surface just just about there somewhere uh, today i got a signal right on the surface where i had to you know look at that it's a centimeter deep i literally picked up the signal with the pinpointer just stuck me spade into the ground and we pulled out another big penny with an imprint this time it's my boy george fifth yet another pre-decimal coin date on that one will be 1921 100 years old cool wouldn't normally film these but uh, this is a really nice one uh, it's probably a draw handle but it's got some really nice uh, decoration on it and patterns so that's quite cool yep well on that note i'm going to call it a day my feet are wet it's been raining pretty much the whole time i've been here i've uh, been hard at it for about three hours i found a whole load of pre-decimal coins no silver again on this place which is unbelievable to be fair uh, so yeah, I'm going to go go to my dad's house, we're going to watch some Euros, like it's 
North Macedonia against Amsterdam against Netherlands. So yeah, that should be good. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Doing my finds from today, nothing exciting. We've got some George V big pennies, a couple of Edward big pennies, crusty threepenny bits. Don't know what that is. Odd coin with holes in it, no idea. Queen Victoria half penny, little uh, farthing, probably William IV. Spendable penny, crusty Georgian handle off something, a uh, bucket or drawers, really don't know. A couple of buttons. There's my medieval ring pull, still don't know what that is. Strap end maybe, something, who knows. And there is my favourite find probably, the uh, little Georgian clock winder, or it could be Victorian. But uh, yeah, cool. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Tell you what, this microphone's doing my head in. The amount of times it's not recorded sound really, really, really starting to get out of my tip.